If I was to say the word TCL to you guys right now, first and foremost, you're probably going to think about TVs, Roku TVs, Google TVs. Essentially, they're known for their TVs. They make great panels. They make great TVs at a great price that offer us a lot of features. But what if I told you you're able to take that TCL TV with you on the go with in, in a form, obviously, of glasses? These are the Nextwear SXR glasses from TCL that enables us to take micro LED panels inside of these glasses with you on the go. Connect it, play games, watch movies, uh, just even use a desktop experience if you like decks on Samsung. This is going to work perfectly for you. And what are the features that come in this very affordable, very feature packed glass? Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. Okay, well, here's the packaging. I've done an unboxing of this over on my social media account. So if you haven't seen that yet, make sure to check out TKDSL8655 over on Instagram. But let's go ahead and talk about the exactly what comes in the box. You get a nice clean cloth. Obviously, that's going to be TCL uh, monikered here. The casing itself, a nice little carrying case that's included as well. Very nice little pocket here for the cable as well as the ability of putting your glasses there and the cloth with you. So very nice and very sturdy, really nice. And of course, uh, we get the cable. This is a proprietary cable, USB-C on one end. And on the other side, you have this magnetic connector that automatically clamps in the right position. It's so nice and so satisfying to know exactly how it's going to connect, not have to fumble to try to basically plug in a USB-C cable, especially if you already have the glasses on you. The next thing obviously we're talking about is the Nextwear SXR glasses. So we're going to call them basically the Nextwear S. Uh, the glasses themselves feature a removable magnetic clamp. So this is a magnetic front facing cover. And from what I understand is that they should be making additional designs coming soon. But overall, the difference between the two is if you want to have more of a personal experience, you put them on. If you want to have a little bit more of a see through experience, so you can still see the things around you, take them off and you're able to connect and obviously use them normally. I'm going to go ahead and keep them on right now. One thing I will mention, this is a pre-production piece of hardware. So one thing to mention here is that the, ear, uh, the nose tips here that we have are not the final design. This was just done here purely to get me the hardware in time to provide you this video. Uh, we have a couple of configurations in here, one to control the volume level here on the actual pair of glasses, and the other one to also control the brightness. So those are two brightness and volume options in here. We have stereo speakers present here on both the right and left ear. There is no batteries built into this, so this is one thing to keep in mind. This will always be powered by whatever is providing you the video source to them. Jack it up. Now, the other thing they also include in the box is this uh, basically more of a representation of what the glasses that you're able to use if you're nearsighted and you need to have adjustments done directly. This is magnetically clamped directly into the glasses themselves. You can professionally get them done directly at your eye doctor and then, of course, have them magnet, uh, well, insert them and get them mounted directly onto here. They'll be able to do that for you. And of course, then you have no more problems. If you've ever had problems with glasses because you're nearsighted, this fixes it for you. On the right side, we notice that there's the TCL moniker and of course the connector. The connector only works in this configuration. You notice right there, it automatically clamps on. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. Bam. And it actually has a very good firm grip on it. Strong enough to be able to hold the glasses. Although, don't recommend you doing that. On the left side, nothing much. Basically just the information, barcode information there. There is no connectors on the back. There is a proximity sensor that's present right there. That's going to basically allow the display to turn on whenever you wear the glasses. So when you're not wearing them, this proximity sensor senses that and turns off the display, saving you some battery. Again, keep in mind that the nose tips here that we have are not the final design. The final design, when it does become available publicly, will be more rigid and will definitely give you a different size sizes that you'll be able to pick from. So that's something to keep in mind. They're going to provide you different pieces. You'll pick the right one for you and you'll be able to configure it and set it up and it'll be comfortable and very nice to use. Again, removing the back shield provides us the ability of seeing through it. You can kind of see my hand here so you can kind of see through. So it's not entirely um, blocking everything. The reflectors on the front, the reason why we have it here, so we don't have a lot of light passing through. But from the front, when you're looking at it, it looks pretty good and it gives you the ability of seeing through it. Now, as I mentioned to you guys, we have two displays in here. I hope you can see them. There's one and two, and they're basically reflecting off of a mirror present inside of it. So the reflective material allows us to actually see these displays. And there's two basically uh, micro OLED displays present there a 16 by 9 aspect ratio with about 47 degree field of view. So very nice, large display and running at about 60 hertz. So that's the refresh rate that's on it. 
When you're running in 2D technology or 2D video, it's going to be 1920 by 1080 p And if you're running at 3D, it does play at a bigger resolution at 3840 by 1080 Again, 1080 p is going to be the maximum, and it's considered to be called the birdbath uh, type of a display optics. Dual stereo speakers present in here, although my recommendation for best audio utilize using uh, play music using your like your favorite pair of Bluetooth earbuds. It's a little bit more personal. So let's say if you're on a flight or so on where there's a lot of noise coming around you, it's not that you can't hear the sound, but it'll be more personal and of course sounds a lot better, especially if you're watching a movie on them. Uh, we do have an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and a pressure sensor, as I mentioned to you guys. Connectivity is primarily over USB-C, and this is going to be the connection that we have in here. Now, TCL is going to be selling an adapter. This is a separate piece of hardware that is going to be sold through the Kickstarter, and that enables us to actually use it with iPhones as well as also utilizing it with systems that don't necessarily support audio, well, basically USB-C output uh, and power at the same time. And what I mean by this, uh, it actually includes in that little package uh, in small battery that allows us to actually not only power the glasses, but also allows us to last longer since it doesn't have to draw as much power from the device. And when I say that this is super easy to, to use, it's pretty simple. You just basically take off your glasses, put them on, and I'm pretty much set to go. Go ahead and take the cable. Again, the cable itself, this goes directly into your smartphone and this goes directly into the back. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and put it on, clamp it, you're ready to go. Pick up your favorite smartphone. In this example, I'm using the Xperia 1 Mark IV. Turn it on, unlock it, and taking off the frames real quick just to kind of see through a little bit so I know exactly where to look like here because when you put the shades on, it gets a little bit darker. Uh, this is a screen mirroring experience. So right now I'm looking exactly at what the screen is giving us right there. Now I got a question a couple of days ago about do we need to have the display on whenever we're using the glass with a device that has a display, obviously, that we're using screen mirroring at this point. Uh, the answer is pretty straightforward. Yes, you do need to your display on because for the most part, this is what actually is going on. I mean, I'm controlling the experience in the glasses on the phone. Now, there is an application we're going to talk about that that does actually run and make it so that you're able to use more of a virtual desktop experience but that's separate from DeX. Samsung devices that do support DeX, you're able to easily activate DeX by connecting them. They do turn on to screen mirroring first, and then they turn on the DeX when you bring down the notification panel and select DeX. From there, you literally have a desktop experience running on your, well, right in front of you at a large display. Now, the speakers are very good. I love the audio coming from them. If there is any kind of ambient noise coming around, let's say if you're on a bus, you're in a car, there's a lot of noise like driving cars, because I like using these glasses when I'm waiting for my son while he's doing his karate. As I'm showing you guys actually right now is a good example. I plug them in, I use my uh, Galaxy Z Fold 4, I launch Dex, and I'm just sitting there and enjoying content. And I can watch YouTube, I can open up a browser, do everything I want, and for the most part, it runs very nicely. But it also works with other devices that support external displays, and it is absolutely and super, super comfortable. The nose pad right now that I have, because it's not the final design, is not 100%, so I do have a little bit of discomfort with it, uh, but they've assured me that they're going to be changing it, and if I'm not mistaken, I've seen one of the other videos posted that does show a different style of nose pads that are a little bit more rubbery and a little bit more comfortable overall. As far as usability, this is going to be essentially like carrying with you an external display for your PC. For, and again, one of my favorite parts is using this with the Steam Deck. Portable gaming at its best. I connect my Bluetooth connection directly for audio. I get my personal experience and I'm able to sit there and enjoy and play games. And one of the things I do enjoy here is that the Steam Deck does actually shut off the main display here when you're using it in external display. Meaning if I plug in the cable to it and I launch it, what will end up happening is that the main display on the Steam Deck turns off and the next Wear S start basically showing everything that you need in, again, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So basically your standard TV format. So the main benefit there, of course, is that this is going to be compatible with anything that utilizes video over USB-C. If your system, let's say you're running an iPhone, you do need to buy that additional adapter that they're selling so that it does convert that video and provide us the ability of having video supported directly on this. Uh, but same thing kind of like if you're trying to go over and you're trying to use it, let's say with the Nintendo Switch, you do need a little bit of an adapter there to get it to run. But for me, the best experience, I'll probably say this. On my Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV, it works perfectly. On my Samsung device, it works perfectly because it has Dex running on it. It's not going to work with the Samsung, uh, sorry, the Z Flip, because the Z Flip doesn't support Dex. But the Z Fold, the S series, for the most part, you're pretty much set, and as well as the Note series is going to be perfectly fine. Devices that do support uh, external displays, let's say Oppo devices, OnePlus devices, uh, again, Sony devices, all are going to work perfectly fine. And for the most part, when you download the application, you're still going to be able to get that virtual experience. PCs, on the other end, you do need to make sure that your PC supports, obviously, video output. Most of them do, but it's mostly around that whole USB-C connection. 
Because this is a proprietary cable, so one thing to keep in mind, it's not like you can just plug in another cable to it. So one thing to mention is make sure your system supports it. For me, I've been using it with the Laptop Go 2 from Microsoft, the Surface, and it really runs perfectly fine. I mean, this is a small, tiny display, but when you connect it over, because it's a 1080p panel at 16 by 9, it actually gives you a bigger display and a much larger, almost like a very big display that comes out out of this small PC. And the beautiful thing about it is you can run them in mirrored mode or you can actually split them, meaning let them be an extension of each other. And you can run, uh, let's say, your main video in front of you. And of course, one of the big benefits here, which I didn't get a chance to explain before, because the glasses are sitting in front of us, meaning the field of view is always going to be in the front and it doesn't cover the entire face. When I have my glasses on this way, my entire vision here is entirely perfect. I can see directly under, so I can use the phone, I can control everything I want, and then from there on get the experience in front of me. And when I'm done, I can basically put the phone down and enjoy the content. That's the biggest benefit. One thing I will say though, if you want to save some battery, lower the brightness on your smartphone and make sure that the brightness on the panel or here in the glasses is up. That allows you to actually save battery on your phone and then utilize it a little bit more on the display. Um, the experience that we get here with that desktop experience that I'm talking to you guys is pretty much straightforward. Uh, the main thing I would probably say it's a desktop experience that is going to get better. Right now, they have a couple of options in there. There's a few stock videos in there that I'm gonna show you guys a couple of samples from right now. And that's pretty much me, me just taking my phone, putting it straight next to the glasses to be able to record some of that. Um, they also have the ability of uh, running and uh, loading up local files. So if you have MP4s or videos that you're able to play on your smartphone, they're definitely going to load up pretty easily and you can use them in the current version. Although by the time you're able to pick up yourself, pick one up for yourself, like a retail edition, there's going to be so much more things available for us to be able to use. There is no desktop application right now. So for your PC, I think for the most part, it's just screen mirroring. It's going to be expanding your display and it's going to obviously be a little bit more personal, especially if you're in an open area. So that's one of the main benefits. And one thing that I like is on the PC, as long as you're comfortable knowing all your shortcuts and everything is in there, you do have the ability of setting up your system to turn off the display and allow the external display to just take over the video. So that will save you some battery as well. But for smartphone technology, I think as long as your device supports uh, video output over USB-C, you're going to be set and it's going to be very enjoyable. And the app itself is very nice. It's going to get better. Okay, so we've talked about a whole bunch of good things in here. Let's talk about some of the concerns. Now, because this is a pre-production piece of hardware, I'm not going to harp on the final var version of it. Obviously, this is not a deal breaker. Uh, the nose pads that we we're talking about here, obviously, I would have liked them to be more of the, the final product, but that's going to be solved and available for retail units. So by the time backers are starting to receive their hardware, this is not going to be an issue. The other thing I will talk about is overall, as far as performance, there is a little bit of warming in the center of the panel in here. This is where the PCB or the circuit board is sitting in there that processes all of the stuff that's going on on the display. Now, this gets a little bit warm and right now, from what I understand, uh, TCL has assured me that they're going to be working on this to provide us a better thermal situation, uh, I guess better thermal levels for the better way of explaining it. Currently, it's running a little bit warmer than our normal body temperature, so we do feel it. It's not hot enough that it makes me take off the glasses, but it's warm enough that I recognize it. And I think a combination of the right nose pads as well as their solution of being, reducing the, uh, the uh, temperature uh, thermals on this to below 35 degrees C will definitely fix it because then the temperature of this is going to be lower than our normal body temperature and won't really be even noticeable to us. So that's one of the biggest things in there. But currently, at least in the version that I have, there is a little bit of warming going on, but not enough for me that not an, could not enjoy it or actually use them. Um, I like the fact that they're portable. I like the casing. It's very nice and very sturdy, very easy to carry, take it with us, put it in our backpack, connect it to whatever system you want. The Steam Deck is great, but it becomes amazing with something like this from TCL. The next Wear S will definitely make any smartphone that you have work better and actually even do more. Using decks on the go without having to have an external piece of hardware, otherwise I just put this on my glasses and I'm on. If you're on a plane, you're on a bus, you're in a car for an extended amount of time, this is so that personal experience that we all love to get. We normally have earbuds for personal listening and smartphones for personal experiences. Now we have a personal theater that can actually go with us anywhere we go. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. I'll see you in the next video.